water, earth, fire, and air. Avatar The Last Airbender still holds up as one of the most beautiful animation series of all time and has been praised by critics and viewers over the years thanks to its characters, humor, cultural references, and the themes addressed in it, which were not seen often in cartoons aimed at a young audience. However, in 2010, M. Night Shyamalan attempted to bring the beloved series to the big screen with the goal of creating a trilogy, each movie based on a season of the show. Unfortunately, this venture turned out to be one of the decade's major failures. The Last Airbender is widely criticized as one of the worst movies ever made, with most backlash directed at its whitewashed cast and the storyline. Even the cast themselves have not hesitated to express their dissatisfaction with the project. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch, and in this video, we're gonna talk about what happened to the actors of 2010's The Last Airbender movie. Number 9. Summer Bishel after portraying the role of Princess Azula, Summer Bishel has remained active in the entertainment industry, securing roles in various projects and contributing to the world of film and television. She appeared in films such as Pop Star and Under the Silver Lake. She landed roles in various television series, including the teen drama 90210 Lucky 7, iZombie, and The Magicians where she portrayed Margot, the main character of the series. Number 8. Dev Patel M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender has faced considerable criticism over the years, and the British Indian actor Dev Patel has openly expressed regret about his involvement in the film. In the movie, Dev played Prince Zuko, the Fire Nation prince. It was his second biggest project after starring in Slumdog Millionaire. Dev explained that after The Last Airbender, he is afraid of big studio movies, as he felt overwhelmed by the experience and felt like he was not being heard. The following year, Dev starred in The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel and has since appeared in a variety of movies as our chappy lion The Green Knight and in the TV series The Newsroom and Modern Love. Number 7. Sean Tobe After playing the role of Uncle Iroh in The Last Airbender, Sean continued to have a successful career in acting. After the movie, he reprised his role in Iron Man 3 in 2013. He also appeared in various television series, including notable roles in shows like Homeland, Snowpiercer, and Little America. He took on diverse roles in films such as The Kite Runner and Crash where he played the role of Farhad. Number 6. Asif Manvi He portrayed the role of Commander Zhao in M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender in 2010. After his movie stint, he continued to have a diverse career in the industry. Asif continued his work as a correspondent on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. He had been a correspondent on the show since 2006 and continued to contribute until 2015. He also took on various film roles, including appearances in movies such as Margin Call, Premium Rush, and Million Dollar Arm. He also made guest appearances on several television shows, including roles in The Brink, Evil, and This Way Up. Asif lent his voice in animated projects such as characters in Mr. Peabody and Sherman, and the Lion Guard. Number 5. Seychelle Gabriel Following her portrayal of Princess Yu in M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender in 2010, Seychelle Gabriel persisted in her pursuit of an acting career. She provided the voice for the character Asami Sato in the animated television series The Legend of Korra, which premiered in 2012. This series is a sequel to Avatar, The Last Airbender, and Sleepy Hollow. She also took roles in films such as Honey 2 and The Sprit Game. Seychelles is also involved in theater productions. Number 4. Cliff Curtis After his stint in the 2010 film The Last Airbender as Fire Lord Ozai, Cliff Curtis proceeded with his career in acting, exploring opportunities in both television and film. He appeared in various films including Columbiana, The Dark Horse, Avatar The Way of Water, and Meg to the Trench. He will reprise his role as Tonawari in the upcoming American epic science fiction film, Avatar 3 in 2025. In television, he appeared in Fear, The Walking Dead, Talking Dead, and Invincible. We are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you want to watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com. You want to watch. Any support you provide us will help us provide you with more and better content. Okay, now back to the story. Number 3. Jackson Rathbone After portraying Sokka in The Last Airbender, Jackson Rathbone continued his career in both acting and music. 
He reprised his role as Jasper Hale in the Twilight film series with the release of the Twilight Saga Eclipse in 2010 and the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1 and Part 2 in 2011 and 2012, respectively. He also took on various roles in different films, including Girlfriend, City of Dead Men, and Condor's Nest. Apart from acting, Jackson is also a musician. He is the lead singer of the band 100 Monkeys, which he formed before The Last Airbender. The band continued to perform and release music after the movie until their disbandment in 2012. Number 2. Nicola Peltz Nicola Peltz portrayed the character of Kut Tara in 2010 The Last Airbender. After the film, she continued her acting career and ventured into both television and film. She appeared in popular TV series Bates Motel, where she portrayed the character Bradley Martin and her performance in the show received positive reviews. She also secured roles in various films. Notably, she played Tessa Yeager in Transformers Age of Extinction in 2014. Nicola has been involved in fashion and modeling. She has been featured in several magazines and has attended various fashion events. And finally, at number one, we have Noah Ringer. After his role as Ong in the 2010 live-action adaptation of The Last Airbender, Noah Ringer's acting career took a quieter turn. In 2011, Noah took on another role in Cowboys and Aliens, portraying the character Emmett Taggart. Unfortunately, despite the notable acting skills of the actors, the poorly conceived concept failed to resonate with audiences. While he received praise for his martial arts skills and portrayal of the characters, he did not pursue acting as prominently in the following years. According to some news outlets, Noah faced bullying after portraying Ong. Because of it, he shifted his focus towards other interests, particularly to his first love, martial arts. He continued to practice and showcase his skills in various competitions. However, he maintained a relatively low profile in the entertainment industry, avoiding major film or television projects. What do you think about our list? Did we miss anything or anyone that you think should have been included? Let us know your thoughts by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time, watchers. Thank you for watching our video.